In this video, I'm going to show you how you can share your full screen slides in a Zoom meeting from Windows, and you get to see PowerPoint Presenter View if you only have one screen. This gives your attendees high resolution slides and gives you all of your notes and all the functionality of Presenter View. I'm going to show this to you on my other laptop because it only has one screen, which is exactly the setup we're talking about in this situation. So I'm on my uh, second laptop here and you notice I have my Zoom meeting running and I have my PowerPoint presentation already set up. So what I'm going to do is the first thing is, is I'm going to put the PowerPoint presentation into my slideshow mode, the regular slideshow mode. So I can do that from the slideshow ribbon with these buttons. I can do the shortcut keys or what I typically do is just click on the little slideshow icon in the lower bar and it puts it into full slideshow mode. The next step is we have to flip it from slideshow mode to presenter view mode. And I'm going to do that by moving my cursor down to the lower left hand corner and clicking on the three dots. The three dots allows me to select this option here that says show presenter view. And when I do that, it flips it into presenter view mode. Now it didn't lose slideshow mode. Slideshow mode is in another window. See, that's how presenter view works. Slideshow mode in one window, presenter view in another window. And because this is Windows, I can take the presenter view out of full screen mode. So I can take it out of full screen mode and I can make it less than full screen. This allows me to see my notes, but also see the full slide in the background so I know exactly what is being shared with my attendees. Now I have to go back to the Zoom controls because I need to share that slideshow window with the attendees in the Zoom meeting. How do I get that? What I do is I go to Windows Timeline. So hold the Windows key and press Tab, and that shows me now all of the open windows that I have right now. So I'll go to my Zoom meeting window, click on that, and I go to the Zoom meeting window. Now I can share my screen. So I can click on the Share uh, button, and it opens the Share dialog. And I don't want to share my full screen because that's not what I want. I want to share just the slideshow window. And you'll notice there are three windows for PowerPoint. There's the presenter view, there's the slideshow, and then there's the editing view. Now notice you want the slideshow. So notice it says PowerPoint slideshow. So always look for those words to make sure you're selecting the right window to share. So I'll click on that and then I'll click share. And you'll notice what it's done in the meeting and you see this on the attendee screen, it is shared just that slideshow with the meeting attendees. But you notice it also moved me back to that slideshow here on my screen. I need to go back to presenter view. Again, I'm going to go Windows tab to go to the timeline. I'll click on my presenter view. So now I'm seeing my presenter view, but the attendees only ever see my slides. And so now I can go through my slides and you'll notice this is full PowerPoint functionality and presenter view. All my animations, my builds, my morph transition. I have all of my tools for inking, for zooming. All the tools of presenter view in Windows are available to me as the presenter. I see my notes. The audience only ever sees the full screen high resolution slides, which is exactly what you want. When you're done your presentation, simply stop sharing in Zoom the normal way that we stop sharing. Once we've stopped sharing, we're back into the Zoom meeting. I can go back to presenter view and say, end the slideshow. So this is a great opportunity for you to be able to share full screen, high resolution slides with your attendees while you see presenter view. Even if you only have one screen using Windows in a Zoom meeting. Try this out in your next presentation. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.